What is up, YouTube? Ooh. Okay, that was too much. Oh. Let me clean myself. Let me hear you say, please. Let me hear you say, please. What is up, YouTube? This is Angel here, back with another video. I know I haven't posted a video in so long since I unboxed my phone that I'm recording this on, but never mind that, never mind that, I'm here. I'm here to do a video today, okay? I didn't want to do a get to know me tag until I have at least like 50 subscribers or so, um, and I have almost 200. Y'all should get me to that 200, like. Yeah, <laughs> y'all should give me that. I want that. Can y'all do that? So we got to 50 subscribers and now I want to do a get to know me tag, but it's slash Q and A. So I'm going to do that. Um, let's get started. Yeah. All right, y'all. So I have the questions pulled up on my computer over here. So that's why I will be like, looking this way if you notice that um these are questions that people sent me on my snapchat i sent out a picture that said ask me questions for my upcoming youtube video and i got some good responses like, i got a lot of responses so thank you guys for sending those out if you're watching first off if you do have some questions that i don't answer in this video please ask below i do want to know what you guys want to know as well like even like people who knew me i'm like y'all don't know everything about me so give me some questions but yeah so first off my name is angel i go by just angel on this channel um um, so my name is Angel. I am currently in college. I'm a sophomore. Um, one of my questions was, what's your major? My major is computer science. So I'm second year in that. After this semester, I will be computer science. Fully. So I have to choose my concentration. I think I'm going to be going into software development. So if y'all got a job, Um, next question was how do you feel about college I honestly love college like it keeps me focused I like I'm a person who always needs something to do so not even just like oh yeah I'm, I'm just doing this like because I'm not just doing it like it's hard it's hard it gets hard <laughs> but I still feel like it's something that I needed to do. Like if I wasn't here, I would probably just be chilling every day, watching TV, friends specifically. Like I wouldn't be doing anything. So I really love college. Like I like that. And I like where I'm at. Like I like being here. Um, do I party a lot? I do not party a lot. I really don't party, like, to be honest. Like, I like to go out, like, I like to go out, try new places, do new things. I like to chill, especially, and just be lit with my, my little group of people or even just a few of their friends. Come on, like, we're good. But I don't need a party with a bunch of strangers, dancing, smoking, drinking. Like, I, don't, I don't need that. I like, I like to do some of that stuff that you said, but, <laughs> but I don't just go out and party and do it. Um, let me answer these questions because I can So someone sent me, do you have a childhood friend? Yes, I do. Go watch her channel as well. I'm gonna put the link to her channel down below. She just did a Q and A as well, which I watch. Um, how did y'all meet? So, my bestie, my day one, Bryce, we met when we were three. Um, our parents went to the same church, 
So we were just best friends after that. Like we always wanted to see each other. If we didn't see each other, we was mad. Like we saw each other probably once a month and we were just like, oh my gosh, like it been so long, like it been too long. And now I don't see her very often. So that is my childhood friend, Bryce. Um, next question. Do you want to get married? I do want to get married. Like, I love the idea of marriage completely. Like, I love marriage. I, like, my aunts and uncles who are married or have been married for a long time, I just love to see their relationship and just how they connect. And I just have so many high hopes for them. Because I'm like, y'all are goals. I, I need this. What's your love life like? I currently am single. Yeah, I'm single. I am not really mingling. So, um, but yeah, I'm single. Um, I'm not really doing anything. I'm chilling. I'm doing work, studying, usually. Next question: Why did you go natural, or why did I go natural? Um. So, I went natural maybe about my 10th grade year, but it wasn't like, a, okay, I'm about to cut off these um, permed ends or anything like that. I just kind of stopped getting my hair straightened. I stopped getting perms. Just stopped. I stopped it all. I was like, I'm done. I'm done. Like, and it was, I guess then it wasn't like a major decision as it is now. Like, now... Everybody's just like, ooh, natural is the thing, like. But that was like, ooh, 10th grade year. I guess it was like four or five years ago. So it was like, it wasn't really nothing. Everybody was just like, ooh, sis, I like that on you. Like, didn't nobody even notice that I went natural. Like, cause I always had braids in my hair. Like I always had braids in my hair. And when I took my braids out, people was like, oh, you got hair. Cause when I didn't have my braids in, I had my hair straight. Then I got it dyed. After I got it dyed, maybe a few months later, I was like, all right, I'm not really feeling this no more. Like I'm not, I'm not trying to get my hair permed. Cause my mom would perm my hair like, every three months or so or however long we were supposed to get it perm i forgot and i was just like i was so tired of her doing that like look scalp burning and <laughs> she burning my my head when i'm moving i'm like burning my neck burning my ears i got i got kind of long ears i just i ain't want that no more i didn't want it like my hair was already thick with the perm so once I decided, oh, I'm not gonna get no perms no more, it was like, it wasn't a problem. Like my hair would be curly without my perm already. So it wasn't like, it was just straight. Like it was already okay to go natural. So it was just like, it was easier to have a good curl like Bantu knots and stuff in those first few years. Now it's just like, it's so thick. So it's just really hard, but I love being natural. Um, next question. Ooh, first thing you notice about people. Um, I notice a person's smile. Um, Cause I really like teeth. Like I like when you're taking care of yourself and you just look good. Cause it just, that's a, that's a turn off. Okay, I do want to hit this one. Um, has the phrase, I love you, lost its meaning, and is it being used out of habit from the other person's response? Okay, before I even answer this question, I wanna know what y'all think. Like, I wanna know y'all response to this question. Cause my, um, my friend actually sent me this question and I was like, okay, sis, I like that. Like, that's a deep question. I wanna know what y'all think about it. So personally, I feel like it has lost some of its meaning, like just because we say it to our friends, our family, loved ones, anybody, and we're just like, love you, love you, love you. Like, 
but it was like back in the day that was some words where it's like it was just like then you told me you love me Oof. Oof. <laughs> but now it's just like love you love you too whatever like you automatically like, i love you too like some people yeah they be like i ain't trying to say that like that's not how i feel like i'm not there yet i haven't i haven't fell in love with you yet because i feel like that's when you're supposed to say it when you you done fell in love like or as we may say oh you in love love like you <laughs> love, love me like uh, that's what it should be like it should be something that means something instead of just being like love you love you too because i know i am one who just be like love you man especially if i'm like intoxicated love you like that's me but it's like it shouldn't be like that <laughs> like i feel like now you have to be like i'm in love with you for it to actually mean a lot more than just i love you okay and you love your sis over there too who doing some stuff <laughs> that ain't for you like it just it's against you but you love her too and she doing stuff that ain't okay all right this is gonna be my last question this is gonna end us out um favorite song or album my favorite album and i'm gonna i'm gonna play the song for you my favorite album is east Atlanta love letter by black slack six lack whatever you want to call him i i usually say slack honestly but um that is my favorite album right now i'm gonna end this out with his song y'all might hear it playing right now do y'all i don't know i haven't decided um but yeah so i'm gonna end this now i have so many more questions that i can answer i'm gonna do uh, um i'm probably gonna do a part two because it's one that i actually wanted to say that i didn't say i'm gonna say it later i'm gonna i'm doing the next video it's cool it's cool i'm doing the next video but don't go nowhere I need y'all to hit that hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And I need y'all to hit the like button. I don't know where it's at. Hit the like button. And you know what? Go ahead and hit the bell. Hit the bell too. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Hit the bell so y'all can get this video. Not this one. Hit the bell so that y'all can get notifications, especially when I post that part two. You don't want to see it. You don't want to miss it. Because I got a lot more to say. But I'm going to talk to y'all later. Bye.